What's a technique I can use to increase precision and safety when flying an instrument approach? This time in the ABS hangar, the rule of tens. review a technique that can make you more precise when flying an approach. It's a technique I developed that I call the Rule of Tens. The Rule of Tens is a set of tolerances or boundaries that you permit yourself to fly to maintain lateral and vertical guidance in an instrument approach. The Rule of Tens includes specific techniques to keep those tolerances within tight limits. We'll fly to these tight tolerances by closely monitoring and adjusting pitch, heading, and vertical speed, all flown at a constant trimmed airspeed using the by the numbers philosophy. First, aircraft pitch. In an approach with vertical guidance, for example, an ILS or a GPS with an electronic glide path, in most cases, the airplane will need to fly a roughly 3-degree nose-down pitch to maintain the descent path. The precise attitude will vary slightly for individual aircraft and even by how you set or perceive the attitude indicator. But the nose will be slightly down and stable as you continue the approach. If for any reason you trend low, below glide slope, you can reacquire the desired path by raising the nose to no higher than the horizon line. The airplane will slow slightly, and you may have to add a little power to maintain airspeed, especially if you wait too long before making a correction. But the rule for pitch attitude is that, once inbound from the final approach fix, you do not raise the nose above the horizon unless you're missing the approach. If you're high on glide slope, you might pitch the nose down to reacquire, perhaps in conjunction with a small power reduction. But do not let the nose drop below 10 degrees below the horizon. This may seem like a steep angle, and it is, but under some conditions you may be making an approach at a steeper angle than normal also. 10 degrees nose down is also a maximum pitch down if you are intercepting a glide slope or glide path from above. We have a range of 10 degrees of permissible pitch attitudes then, a rule of tens, from the time we pass the final approach fix to when we break out for a visual landing. If you're high or low enough that you must violate this rule for pitch attitude to get back on glide path, immediately begin a missed approach. Don't try to salvage the procedure. There is a similar rule of tens for precision on aircraft heading. You may have noticed that the heading bug on most HSIs and heading indicators has a center point, a left edge that indicates 5 degrees left of the center of the bug, and a right edge that is 5 degrees to the right. The heading bug then describes a 10 degree wide range of headings. If you drift to the right, of course, you need to correct left. Without moving the heading bug, turn no farther than the heading under the left edge of the bug. Hold that heading until the course needle centers, then turn back to the heading at the center of the bug. If you need to correct to the right, turn no more than the heading under the right edge of the bug, and hold that heading until the needle centers. Now you can turn back to the center of the heading bug. Don't move the bug itself, except to make minor changes as you figure out the crosswind. Even then, keep your headings within the confines of the heading bug. There is a range of 10 degrees, another rule of tens, that helps keep you precisely on the inbound course with little tendency to overcorrect or shoot through the final approach course. There is also a rule of tens for airspeed. From your target by the numbers airspeed, if you find yourself low and needing to correct up, raise the nose and or increase power slightly but do not allow the airspeed to decrease more than 5 knots below your target. 
any slower, and the now mistrimmed airplane will fight your attempts to remain smooth and stabilized. If you're high and need to correct down, lower the nose only so much that the airspeed remains no more than five knots faster than your target airspeed. There's a rule of tens for airspeed as well then, target airspeed plus or minus five knots maximum. If you find you must violate this rule to get back on glide path, you'll be out of trim and very unstable. Miss the approach and then set up to try again. Lastly, we have a rule of tens for vertical speed as well. As we saw before, in most cases the target rate of descent on an approach is 500 to 600 feet per minute. If you're low on glide path, add power or pitch or both to reacquire. Bring vertical speed up to zero, but no higher. This is 500 feet per minute less than the normal approach rate of descent. If instead you're high or outside the marker trying to intercept the glide slope from above, accept no steeper than 1,000 feet per minute, about 500 feet per minute more than normal. For vertical speed then, we also have a rule of tens, a 10 times 100 feet per minute range of permissible vertical speeds. If you need to exceed this range to get back on glide path, or especially if you look down and see yourself outside of this range, miss the approach right away. In reality, any change in one of the indications will drive changes in one or more of the others as well. The rule of tens gives you guidance for precision, stabilized flying, techniques for making small corrections before the need arises for big ones, and specific criteria for when you need to miss an approach. It's ATP level flying, and you can do it with a little practice and use of low workload by the numbers techniques. It's the way an autopilot flies when coupled to an approach, except with an autopilot, it's more like the rule of ones or twos. Using these techniques makes single pilot IFR in your beach airplane far safer, more predictable, and easier to fly. This video is part of the American Bonanza Society's ABS Web webinar series, free to members in the ABS Online Learning Center. Log in or become a member at bonanza.org. Don't miss another edition of The ABS Hangar. Subscribe to the American Bonanza Society YouTube channel. We'll see you next time in The ABS Hangar.